So Grace, how do you keep your spirituality grounded in everyday practice? Well, my body grounds me in everyday practice. I have no choice. You know, everything takes so long, so I'm totally grounded. I don't think that's a <laughs> That works. There's no wrong answers to any of these questions. Well, what I do is I make my, my practice the first thing I do every day. I don't check emails, don't check voicemails. Um, you know, I go to the bathroom and then I sit down and I practice because I know that that sets the precedent for my day. And I started that consistently and when I started doing that consistently, things began to change dramatically in my life when I made a commitment to that. And it can start small. It can be five minutes. Five minutes a day, first thing you do, a spiritual practice. The spiritual practice has to be what resonates for you, what works for you. So, so try different forms and, and see what it is, and then you build on it. And, you know, if you told me 15, 20 years ago that, that I'd be meditating for an hour minimum every day, I would have said, you're crazy. But now I look forward to that because it's, it's a time where I'm so connected and it's a time where I bring through that wisdom um, that I share with others. Thank you. So then an, an, another question asks, and, uh, and again, um, Janai, you can go first this time and Grace, you can go second. Would you tell, tell us about an instant when you've questioned your path, which I think you have, and how you found your way back yeah. Yeah, I would say um, I started to share a little bit about it when, um, you know, here I was many years ago receiving all this external success and recognition. And, um, and everybody was so proud of me, you know, my family and and they, they thought, wow, this is amazing. And, but I didn't feel right. There was something inside that was incongruous. You know, on the outside it looked really good, but on the inside I knew that it wasn't my path somehow. And I began to question it. I began to ask questions and say, well, why don't I feel good? Why don't I feel fulfilled or happy about all of this. Everybody else seems to be. Why aren't I? And um, it's really when I started asking that question, because a lot of times we'll do things and we'll keep doing it because others want us to walk down that road. Um, or it's someone else's dream, you know, not mine. And we need to really recognize that and own what's true for us to be able to, to honor our own path because each of us is unique. Thank you. And Dr. Grace? Um, shortly after I woke up again, I got the reputation of being the guru, because <laughs> after all, I'd come back from the dead. And I had no end of things to say to people. I was totally, you know, I was sick of talking about myself. But everybody would come up to me, and I would say, and how is your life going? And they would, of course, unload. And <laughs> in California, you can ask anybody, how's your relationship going? How's work going? And they'll have some problem with some of the, with probably both of those. And I would say, just don't stay in it. Just get out of it. You know, if you don't like your relationship, get out of it. If you do like your relationship, get married. If you don't like your job, get out of it. If you don't like your job, just stay in it, do whatever you love. And pretty soon I got really sick of hearing myself talk. I got the reputation of being the girl, and that I couldn't stand. And so I just shut up. For the next two months, I was just very quiet. That's the way I regained my spiritual center. I had to give up the wonder of being the guru. <laughs> <laughs> well, then let's, let's um, take on a, a practical question then. So 
presently in, the, in, the, uh, in this economy, uh, people are lose, losing their jobs and their homes, and they may, they may have found themselves at rock bottom. So would each of you, uh, what might be your advice in uh, finding their way or finding purpose again uh, in, their, in their lives, finding direction? Maybe this is another getting back on the path, if there is such a thing as the path. Um, does that make sense? Is that mm -hmm. clear? Who wants to go first? You get to go first. Okay, okay. I'll go first. Sometimes what happens in the external world creates an opportunity for us to have a blank slate, to have a way to um, choose differently. And I've had those opportunities um, in my life where once I went through a period, a very short period of a few weeks where I lost a lot of things I loved. People, uh, all kinds of things happened in a very short space of time and I was leveled to the ground. And I didn't know who I was. Um, and it was the worst possible time in my life and the best, because everything that I thought I was or thought I, thought I had was taken. And it really gave me an opportunity to see who I really was, because I was defining myself externally. Um, so these, these instances that happen in our life can be opportunities to really step into who we really are and who we came to be, ultimately. So it's a gift. Very good, thank you. Dr. Grace? Um, I would just say I, haven't, I have yet to meet a person who doesn't know what makes them happy. And I would only say think about something that makes you happy. It can be small. Just make it small. It can be a lilac. It could be the bush outside of your house. You know, whatever. Just think about something that makes you happy. And that's what I've used to. Yeah approach, having everything taken away from me, yeah. being totally leveled. And um, nothing lacks forever. And the feeling of water on my back is still, I still remember it to this day, how it felt to take my first shower in four months. It was wonderful. It was yeah. just wonderful. Yeah. And I will always have that memory. So nothing pales, you know, nothing feeds me like that memory. And everybody's got that memory. Yeah. Beautiful. Any other questions come your way? Well, uh, let me take this opportunity to thank you both for your insights and your wisdom and your guidance. And um, thank all of you for braving the traffic and for mm -hmm. allowing yeah. us to, to run a little over. Because things do uh, uh, impose themselves on us from the outside. And our uh, most healing response comes from the inside.